Hello everyone, this is Linda with Icky Shake Designs and um, I'm here to uh, start a new project. I'm going to take a little break from my cupcake challenge and uh, start a, a new project that I can work in between uh, my other ones. And this is going to be a pretty nice needle case, I hope. It's going to be a little bit bigger than normal. It's going to be hard covered. And uh, and I'm going to start with a four by six photo album. And uh, so I thought this might be something that uh, would interest other people. So I'm going to make uh, successive videos of my process as I go along. And uh, you can learn from what I do right and from what I do wrong. And should you uh, want to make one of your own. Now, the little tiny needle cases are great, but uh, they aren't really practical for me because I I use more items than that little little teeny case will will help me with, and I don't want a separate basically needle case from my um, inspiration uh, stuff that I'm working with when I'm doing my slow stitching and other things like that. Uh, and most of the time, I grab a needle cases when I am not in my uh, studio working at my desk. I I have that needle case with me when I'm traveling and otherwise, or maybe sitting watching TV or something like that, and so that I can work out of it. And so I wanted to have more things in it, and so that's why I'm working on a on a bigger uh, needle case than than normal. Uh, what you think of? Uh, these are some of the fabrics that I've pulled out to uh, work a, th a theme through. Uh, these are just uh, sample swatches. Uh, they're in the greens and the pinks and the uh, creams and the uh, ecrus and browns. And there's just uh, a whole lot of different fabrics here. Now, needless to say, I'm not going to be using them all, but I wanted to get together some things that I could start because I want to decorate my uh, needle pages as I go through. And so I need some of those things uh, ready to go. Okay, this is the book that I'm going to be using. This is originally a four by six uh, photo album. And it's, um, let's see, here's my ruler. It's two inches thick on the spine, so that will give me plenty of area to add my pages in here and also my project pages that I want, okay? Now, uh, this is a pretty cover on its own, but I do believe I will be making a fabric cover when I get through to finish the whole thing. And uh, so this probably won't be showing in the end, even though it's pretty like it is. <clears throat> now, when I open it up, the uh, first page has been paper collaged. And uh, when I do my fabric cover, well, a good amount of that will be uh, covered. But at least there will be some decorative element on this on this page. This area here, as you can see, these are the four by eight six inserts that were for the photographs. There were three signatures of these, three separate sets of these uh, put into this book as signature. I took two of them out, which left this blank spot here. I will be creating my own signature to go in here uh, with my needle uh, book pages and that will fill this up. I left the last uh, insert in because I wanted to use that for some inspiration project pages. Excuse me for knocking you around. As you can see, uh, I have a, a few little uh, fabrics and some coordinating yarn in here. Uh, as I find other things that would go with these, I could tuck them in here, but they would be a starting place for me to uh, begin a project or add to something. 
uh, and I have quite a few of these pages to work with. On this side, I have, as you can see, uh, some lace back here and some uh, little charms, butterflies and things like that in there. Uh, no fabric yet. I haven't decided yet what else to put with this. This has uh, some really uh, loose weaved linen type fabric back here. Uh, it has some little fabric piece choices and a couple embroidery flosses. Uh, so I have room here for four inspiration packs per sheet and I have one, two, three, four sections. So that's 12 inspiration packs that I can put in this book and they'll be there whenever I want to use them. I can always add to them and change them out or whatever I want to do. But but I thought that would be a great idea because if I'm just sitting and want to start something, I'll have something to work with. I will probably be putting up some larger pieces of fabric into a back pocket area here, which would act as foundation pieces for something I might want to start new. Uh, so I have that area planned for the larger pieces. I don't work with a hoop, so I don't need to store a hoop. Uh, basically, it's my fabrics, my embellishments, my uh, laces, my charms and things like that, my embroidery flosses, uh, just those kind of things that I want to go in my uh, inspiration. As you can see, I have 12 pages, but I have plenty of room to fill those pages up and still put my needle sheets in there. Uh, I don't know how many pages I will put in yet, but probably uh, six or eight uh, needle pages into here. And in that also I will have some storage for some floss and uh, other things to go in there besides my needles and pins and decorative pins and things like that. Um, uh, buttons and just different things that I'm going to be putting on these pages. And then I will have a pocket here to use also for whatever I need. So starting with a photo book for me, because I want a larger book and I want a hardcover book, <clears throat> uh, I want something that can hold a lot and that I can grab and go. And that's that's small enough. I can shove that in a bag or my purse even and uh, just grab it and go and everything would be there that I needed to work with my foundation fabric, my uh, coordinated other fabrics with flosses and other embellishments. Everything would be there for me to work with. Uh, any existing item that I'm working on, that may be project, that may be what I uh, leave here on this pocket for whatever existing project I'm working on at, at the moment. Uh, I'm real anxious to get into creating the pages and the uh, signature that will go into here. So I will be creating the pages independently uh, and then when I'm finished I will put them into a signature and then apply that signature to a, a backing for the spine. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to attach this. I'm probably going to glue it in, but I may also uh, strengthen that uh, another way. And that may be another reason why to cover the book in a fabric cover that would cover anything that I do on the spine that reinforces the signature here. So anyway, if you would like to... Uh, join me on this adventure, well, please, uh, this is not something I'm going to create quickly. It's going to be over time, so you have plenty of time to find a uh, photo book. You probably got one around the house you're not even using, but uh, thrift stores and places like that, you can pick them up very uh, cheaply. In fact, I picked this one up for a dollar at my local uh, thrift store, and uh it was brand new and never been used. So they're pretty easy to come by. 
Uh, and what a fabulous uh, gift idea, even if you don't want it for yourself, but for someone uh, who stitches and would love to have such a thing. So, okay, that's all for uh, this introductory video on this project. And again, I hope you'll join me. I hope you will leave any comments or suggestions uh, in the comment area of the video. That all, That's always helpful. Um, you know, uh, we all learn from each other. So if you can teach me something or recommend something that I can use, I would really appreciate it. So thank you so much, and uh, till next time, this is Linda. Bye-bye.